Hey y'all, Sam here, and today we're gonna open my second Dia and Co box. Um, my first box, I kept two items, so let's get into this box and see what I'm gonna keep. All right, so the first thing I have here is my card that tells me my prices and what I have. I'm gonna put that up here so if you can screenshot it if it's something you're interested in. So I did put on my profile this time to give me the lowest price possible because this stuff's kind of expensive and I'm on a budget. So <laughs> let's see how well they did. I'm seeing some 75 and $60 items again. So those will probably be going back. Okay, so the first item we're gonna look at is this three quarter length burgundy cardigan. Um, this is from Ryan Wife. And I got it in the 3X. It has like these little lines in it. And if you notice the bottom half of it is sheer. So this is kind of interesting. I am interested to try this one out. Next item I got is this shirt here. Absolutely love the pattern on the shirt. Um, let's see. This is by East. This is by East Adline. Um, again, this is a 3X. And it's kind of like a peasanty blouse. It's kind of got this little flap right here. Um, I wish I had sleeves because I hate when I have to wear a jacket with it. I just don't like my arms. My arms are just, ugh. I just have to have a cardigan or a jacket. And this shirt is $35. So that's a better price. It's $35. Okay, so this is the black and white tank. That was, I believe, $35 or $38. Um, it's cute. But it's so blousey that I feel like it makes me look bigger. And I don't like that my arms show. A lot of plus size girls can understand that because no one wants to see this jiggle. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one. Let's try the cardigan on with it and see if I like it a little better with the cardigan. Okay, so I do think this cardigan is super cute. I love the back detail and how it's kind of see-through. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Um, it's rather long, I'm gonna step forward so that way you can see it a little better. But it comes down to like the back of my knees. So, hmm. what do you think? Um, I do think it's cuter with the cardigan. I'm still just not sure I'm loving the shirt. What I'm not liking is how it goes boob straight out. Versus if it came in even some, then I feel like I don't look as big. I mean, I know I'm a big girl, y'all. But maybe not as big if it was to, like, come in some. Hmm. All right, so the next item we have is called the Jamie Blouse. Like the name of it. That's my sister's name, Jamie. Um, this blouse is $58. And it's by Mary Bell. So this kind of looks like a peasanty blouse. I'm gonna try this stuff on so that way you guys can see how it looks on me and I'll like insert it in here. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. It is cute. I do like olive green. Just looks kind of big. I'm starting to think maybe I don't need three X's. Maybe I need to go to like a two X size, but you never know. I don't want it to be tight. I don't like tight clothes. Okay, so here is the second blouse. Again, I think it's just kind of big. Like, you see how it kind of comes over my hands? Um, I kind of like the shirt, but again, we're having that same problem where it's like so loose everywhere that, I don't know, does it make me look bigger? I feel like it kind of makes me look even fatter. And that's not my goal. Hmm. It is a really cute shirt, though. I mean, I could rock this shirt. If this shirt was like $20, I'd probably get this shirt. All right, next I have a dress here. Ooh, I like the fabric. Um, not sure I like the pattern. Those are like really big flowers. But I do like that it has a sleeve to it. Um, it looks to be a good length, so I won't be super short on me. Let's see what this is. This is called the Sandalwood Short Sleeve Dress and black and pink um and it's by london times women and this is a size 24. um i'm thinking maybe i need a 22 but we'll try it on 
Okay, so here is the dress. I love the shape of this dress. It fits rather well. I could probably go down a size. I love the sleeve length. I like the material. But I don't like the dress. How is this possible? I feel like what I don't like about this dress is the pattern. And it's really long. Like, maybe if it even came up to like here, it wouldn't feel so old. Like, I feel like I would like that length better. But, hmm. I don't know. I feel very Sister Wives in this. Which means I probably won't wear it, even though it's super comfortable and it fits really, really well. It's just not the one and for $75, it's going to have to go back. So the last thing in the box we have is a black pair of trousers. I do like the material of these. They are like the pull on kind with the elastic waist. Really like that. That is fabulous. Um, these are $69. So it's a little pricey, but that's not that bad for a pair of pants. Um... These are by Prescott, New York, and these are again in a size 24, um, and they're just black. It says that they're petite straight leg trousers. Um, the only thing that makes me nervous about the petite part is I'm afraid they're going to be too short or they're going to be like ankle length, and I cannot stand ankle length because I just feel like you have to wear certain shoes with that. I'd rather it come all the way down covering the half of my foot. I am all the way... A boot cut girl I love boot cut jeans and boot cut dress pants that's just me you know I am a child of the 90s so um so these are the pants I feel like they fit really well they are that stretch fit like I mentioned before which I like I feel like a 24 fits me really well um they're just a little short see what I'm saying they like come right at the ankle not a giant fan of that. Kind of wish they went a little longer. But overall, they're not bad. Okay, so now that I've tried everything on, I'm a little torn because I actually kind of like this dress. I really, it's hard for me to find a dress that has good sleeves like this. It's a good material. It doesn't cling to any of my fat rolls. It just looks too old. That's the simple problem. I know because of the length and stuff on it, I'm not going to feel ultra professional. And for $75, I'm just not in love with it. So this one is going back. This shirt here, um, I'm going to turn it inside out. I'm such a slob. <laughs> So this blouse right here, I actually think is really cute. Um, I do wish it wasn't quite so big, but when I took a couple photos of myself in it, I actually thought it looked really good. So maybe I was judging it too hard when I was filming for you guys a minute ago. Um, but the problem is it's still $58. I mean, $60 for a blouse. Y'all, that's just really expensive. So I think this one's gonna have to go back as well. I haven't took this stuff off yet, so this blouse right here, even though I do like it, it's only $35. <sighs> I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence on this one, just because I do think it's a good layering piece. Um, the cardigan, I really like, so I'm really thinking about keeping the cardigan. And the pants, mm, I'm tempted to keep the pants. So let me see how much it'll cost me if I keep all three of these. Okay, so if I keep this shirt, the cardigan, and the black pants, I'm going to be spending $163 minus the $20 I already spent. That means $143. If I keep everything you can see here, I get $74 off. So it's like I get the dress for free if I buy the other shirt and spend $200. Hmm. See, that's the challenge for me because I'm afraid I'm going to buy clothes that I don't love just because I feel like, oh, well, if I buy all of it, I'm going to get a better deal. And I'm really not going to do that to myself. I'm really going to try to discipline myself and not do that. So I might just keep the cardigan. All right, y'all, I'm on the fence. I'm either going to keep the cardigan and spend an extra $40 for this cardigan on top of the 20 I already paid, or I'm going to keep this blouse, which would be good for layering. I wear black blazers and stuff like that to work. 
Um, and this floss is only $35, so that means I already paid $20. I only have to pay $15 more to keep this blouse. I gotta keep something. If I send everything back, then I just spent $20 and wasted it. So, yeah, no, that's the dilemma. We gotta pick at least something. <laughs> Please leave a comment in the box below on which items you think I should keep and which items you think I should send back. I need you guys' help. Please, please, pretty please help me out here. All right, until next time, y'all. Bye, y'all.